we're going to get ready to start our gallo pinto. So in our gallo pinto, we've got diced onion, diced celery, diced red pepper, um, minced cilantro, black beans, uh, some cooked rice. So I've gone ahead and just cooked some uh, some converted rice or whatever rice is your favorite, and then our hot sauce. So I've got a uh, a pick of pepper, which is a one of our hot sauces that we carry. It's more Jamaican. Um, it's, a, it's a sweeter sauce than it is hot. Um, so you basically can pick whatever brand of, of hot sauce. You know, try to stay away from like the Tabasco or the vinegar-based vinegar ones because that's more American and Creole than it is uh, South American. So um, those are all of our ingredients. We'll take a step over to the stove and get it started to cook. Okay, so our first ingredients that we're gonna wanna add in is just a little bit of our oil just to help start that cooking process. And then we're gonna add in our onions. And we're going to sweat these just to pull out the natural sugars. So we're going to add our onions, our celery, and our pepper. So you can use green, yellow, orange. The, uh, the red pepper just gives it a, a more subtle flavor than you would out of the, the green pepper. And we're going to let those sweat for just a few minutes before we add in our rice and beans. In our pan here, I've um, cooked them. They've been in there for about three minutes, and you can see that the the peppers and the celery and the onions are just getting a little bit lighter and almost translucent. That means that some of that that liquid is starting to be released out of the fibers, and the sugars are coming out, and that's going to give us that nice flavor that we're that we're looking for. This is the same principle that we would use, um, you know, anytime you're sweating any vegetables uh, in the. In Creole cooking and in South American cooking, they use a lot more what they call Holy Trinity, which is the the celery, onions, and red pepper, rather than in French cooking, which is the carrots, onion, celery, which is called mirepoix. So this is our base for for our um, beans and rice here, and this I think is about where we need to be. So we've got a little bit of color coming out of them, and we're going to add in our our rice. Again, this has already been cooked um, in chilled rice. So we're going to add that and then our black beans. And we're going to let this cook for about three to five minutes until it's nice and warm. And then we're going to finish it with our, our hot sauce, or our sauce, and our, um, our cilantro. So we've let this cook for about five minutes and you can see that it's just, it's kind of pulled itself together a little bit. The, uh, the black beans have kind of tainted the, the color of the rice um, and all those flavors have kind of melded together. Now what we're going to do to add the real flavor to it is our sauce. So in Costa Rica they use Lanzano sauce and I realized when I got to our store and looked for it that we don't carry the Giant Eagle so I'm going to talk to our buyers um, this afternoon to see if we can get that sourced um, in our store but instead I got the pick a pepper sauce which is a Jamaican so it's it's similar to what they use in Lanzano, sauce, Lanzano, Lanzano, salsa Lanzano, salsa, salsa means sauce in, uh, in South America or in, in Spanish so we're using this, which will give it a similar flavor. It's a little bit sweet. It has raisins and um, and what was the other ingredient in there? It is sugar cane and mangoes, raisins. So it, it's a nice sweet sauce, not necessarily spicy or super hot. It just adds a nice depth to it. Um, and that's about a tablespoon for what we're adding here. And then we're going to finish it off with a, a good helping of cilantro. And the cilantro we add last because we want it to stay somewhat um, fresh and bright, but it's still going to cook for a, a few minutes, so it's not going to be just a garnish. It's, it will get cooked a little bit and help to release some of that flavor. And that we have is gallo pinto. So we have our gallo pinto down on our plate, our roasted plantains, and we're going to finish it with two nice pieces of our roasted ham, and you have a very untraditional uh, Easter dinner. So as we're moving into spring, and this is what I'll be thinking about in spring, is the, the fantastic weather in Costa Rica, and this will remind me of my...